ladies and gentlemen, join us in welcoming to the studio a new but quite sensational artist, a fellow by the name of Joshua Moore. Welcome, Mr. Moore, to the studio today. Yeah, thanks for having me. You mind if I call you Joshua? That's cool for me. Okay, all right. I want to start by saying that I've had the very wonderful experience of listening to your debut single, uh, Peace. I want you to know that the words are truly captivating and very thought-provoking. Uh, I've also had an opportunity to take a, a look at your video uh, that goes with the song piece on YouTube. And I can say, wow, it's pretty inspiring. Uh, what exactly ex inspired you to, to do such an awesome song? Well, you know, if you look around, you know, us today, the, the news, you know, things that are happening that are tragic, um, in our country and other countries also, it's, it's pretty bad. And um, I think there's a time that um, to spread the word peace because um, peace is something that we all need, uh, especially in this day and time with um, so much going on that is not positive, uh, you know, with our kids, you know, our families, and it's just, it's just not good. So I decided to to bring something out of me that I felt like the world needed to hear. So that's how Peace was born. Tell you, Peace is, is really an awesome tune. I highly recommend it to our audience to, to, to listen to it and, and spread the peace around the world. Now, I'd like to get a little background information about you to just give folks some idea of who Joshua Moore is. First, by, let, me say, let me ask you, where are you from? Well, I am from the state of Alabama. Um, it's a small town called Dixon's Mills. Um, actually, we're on the map. It's a small town. You blink, you miss it, but we're actually on the map. So, um, <laughs> But for people that don't really know what Dixon Mills is, that lives in the state of Alabama, um, one good landmark is Tuscaloosa. You know, the Alabama Crimson Tide football team is like um, probably maybe an hour, 30 minutes south of Tuscaloosa. So. So that's a good landmark. Everybody know the Crimson Tide. So, yeah, so. so Dixon Mill is down there below mm -hmm. the Crimson Tide. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay, so well, uh, how would you describe your music to an audience that has never heard you before? Well, it's kind of, it's not that difficult, but it's, um, my music is it, it's soul music. It comes from my soul, and I, um, I've been blessed to have a talent that I would love to share with the world. So the kind of music comes out of me, it has no title. I think it has just, it's about, you know, it's about love, peace, family, happiness, you know, unity. And I think a lot of people will hear that throughout my, my career. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, awesome platforms that you take up in your music. Uh, and I commend it. Um, thinking back to your childhood, what was the first experience that you remember having with music? Mm, wow, it's, that's a tricky one. But um, I remember, this is going to be kind of funny to people probably, but it stands out a lot. My dad, it was on Christmas Day, and I've always wanted a guitar because we would watch him play guitar and sing and stuff, you know, here and there. And I always wanted a guitar. So I remember this, this red and blue guitar that had the American flag on it that my dad bought me for Christmas. And um, our heads, he shaved our heads though. Like all of our heads were shaved, we had no hair. I didn't understand the no hair part, but I guess dad just didn't feel like cutting no style or something. But that's when I first got introduced to the instrument, the guitar. And uh, I, I, that, that stands out in my mind a lot. That's when it first got like started about even playing or singing or anything like that. About how old were you then? Oh uh, man, I thought it was like maybe six or seven. Maybe. Wow. In that respect, um, let me ask you this. What song do you remember most as a child? Oh, um, Sam Cooke. My father is a huge Sam Cooke fan. He's, um, man, he, he, he kind of played Sam all the time. And uh, A Change Gonna Come is um, it's a popular song even to this day. And uh, it's one that I heard growing up throughout my life. Can you, can you let us hear a little bit of it? Uh, <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, I wasn't ready for that one, but okay. Let's see here. I was born by the river in the little tent. And oh, just like that river I've been running ever since. It's been a long, such a long time coming. 
coming, but I know that a change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. Oh, wow. I'm sure your dad would be proud. I think you yeah, really he captured Sam, Sam Cooke pretty yeah. well. He loves Sam. Oh my goodness. Well, what was the first song do you ever remember singing publicly? Oh, that's, oh man, this is some interesting questions. Um, I was in the, actually the seventh grade uh, in, in, in elementary school. And uh, I know my classmates, if they're watching, they probably remember this also. But we was, um, they, the teachers made us stay in for recess because it was raining that day and we couldn't go outside. So they decided to have a talent show. And, um, Man, I, I chose to sing this song by Lionel Richie, Say You Say Me. Oh, wow, and I know that one. I, you know, without me yeah, having any general, any idea about winning, I, I won, actually, first place. And uh, it was a bag of chips, barbecue chips and a Pepsi. So, oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know you, hey, continued to sing from then on. Oh, that was some, it was like something magic happened at that moment. It was, <laughs> it was on from there. Okay. Um, let, me, let me see. Uh, what... What what exactly? I mean, music sounds to have been very much a part of your life growing up, but a little bit beyond that, what what was it that made you realize that you really wanted to pursue a career in music? It's a lot of transition that went on throughout my life. Um, I was very good at basketball. I could play ball very good, and um, actually, my first year in college, um, coming out of high school. I, I, took, I, would, I would carry my ball everywhere I went, and um, I was just so, even though I was a singer, you know, around the town and stuff like that, but I, I really loved playing basketball. And just like every other young athlete growing up, they thought they was going to be the next Michael Jordan, I thought the same thing, you know, and um, I guess the good Lord just spoke to me through a little bit of pain and discomfort. I had hurt my left knee playing a scrimmage basketball game in school, and it never recovered, so I guess that that kind of it hurt me a lot and I um I began to to think of other options that I wanted to take and music seemed to be the next best thing that I was good at so wow. I just took that as a confirmation from God like you know my child I want you to see <laughs> oh wow that's yes. that's awesome now if you had to categorize categorize your music what genre would you say it best fits no genre for me. I think um, my music, it works for for all moments, all types of um, genres. I don't have a category for my music. I let the people, you know, put it where they want it to be. I just sing what comes out of me. It's um, whatever is in comes out, and that's how I make my music. That's awesome. Now, I know you've done uh, some live performances around the country uh, lately. Uh, spent a lot of time over in, in uh, Texas and did some time. Recently, we caught your video where you, you were over on the East Coast doing some things at Hilton Head. So, um, for people who've not gone to any of your live performances, what, 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 what would a person expect to see at one of your live performances? First of all, I definitely would show them a great time. Um, the show will be nice, be good, fun. Um, but the most important thing, I would want people to, if they come there sad, I want them to leave there happy. If they come there happy to see me perform, I want them to leave there happier. So it's like a mission of mine is to, to share the gift with the audience and with my fans out there. That um, it's, let's, let's join up with each other and let's just enjoy ourselves. So my music is... It's definitely one that's going to reach a lot of people. I, I, hope, I hope. Now I know that you have reached, you have released a single, the, the single, the song "Peace" commercially, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, people able to find that on iTunes and and uh, the sh social streaming networks and places like that. Mm -hmm. uh, are you also listed on all of the digital platforms? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm all over. Um, actually, um, I guess doing the show that uh, this um, this moment, I'm going to um, have someone to to put that information out there for them to know where to go and find my music at. And um, cause I'm everywhere pretty much on the web and on the, on the uh, internet. So they can find me in different places. Okay. The Nation, you know, all those types of, you know. I'm pretty right. much everywhere. Yes, I think I saw you on Spotify too. Yeah, they're also. Okay, yeah. so what are your immediate music career goals? 
if you had to summarize it, and I know it's early in your career, but ultimately, mm -hmm. where do you want to go with this music thing? There's no ending. I think um, my my hope is that I sing until I'm not breathing anymore. And um, because music lives within me, it makes me who I am. And uh, my goal is to just continue to make great music and continue to to inspire people to know that loving each other, um, sharing with each other, unity, and treating your fellow man kindly is the way to go, you know, because happiness is it. Peace. Wow. Wow. We really appreciate you coming in today. And I know you're going to uh, grace us with one of your, 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 well, not one of your songs. You're going to sing a song that's familiar to a lot of folks. And we look mm -hmm. forward to that. But before we get into that, i just like to tell the uh, listening audience where they can find your music. Uh, you do have uh, several social media platforms, correct? That's correct. You're on Facebook, right? Yes, As I understand it, it's Joshua Moore slash musician on Facebook, That's correct? Right. And you also have a wa an artist website, is that correct? That's correct. And as I understand, I'm reading this, you can find him at www.joshuamore.me. Is that correct? That is nice. but if, if, if people, if you haven't heard enough, if you want to more, know more about Mr. Moore, please go to www dot joshua moore dot me and take a look at that website also you can find him on youtube uh put in joshua moore peace that's the peace song the new release and you can check out a video and i'll tell you right now you be prepared it's really really overwhelming it's uh, it's awesome and i enjoyed it so mr moore i'd like to thank you for coming in uh, you. your voice and your presence is a, a breath of fresh air for us and thank you for coming in and sharing a little bit about who you are to let the uh, your fans know more about you. And hopefully you'll come back and talk to us again. I'll be more than happy. Look so far to it. Okay. Now, now Josh has prepared something, you guys, that you're going to be really, really um, grateful to see. Uh, it's going to be his rendition or his version of a song that's very familiar. Take it away, Joshua. All right.
you, Josh. That was awesome. Oh, my goodness. Now, all of you know that's the John Legend tune called All of Me, uh, covered by Mr. Joshua Moore. Mr. Moore, thank you. It's been a sincere thank pleasure. You. Uh, you can come back and see us anytime. Awesome. Thanks.